Taoiseach, uh, the rural economy is facing many threats and challenges, not least the Brexit challenge because of its reliance on agri-food and small to medium-sized enterprises. And broadband represents a critical piece of infrastructure for SMEs and for households across rural Ireland. And the government's performance uh, to date in terms of the implementation of the National Broadband Plan has been shockingly slow and ineffective, revealing an incapacity to project manage uh, and execute and deliver a plan of this kind. Minister Coveney confirmed this as back, far back as 2.15 when he said we've lost patience with the pace um, of the, the rollout. Uh, and we've had the, the procurement process now ongoing um, for a considerable length of time. And the commitments have been many. 2012, Minister Pat Rabbit published a plan committing the government to providing 100% broadband provision well ahead of 2020. In their 2016 manifesto, Fine Gael committed to high-speed broadband to at least 85% by 2018 and 100% of premises by 2020. And 2016, Minister Nocton is saying it will be available uh, by June um, of this year, that the contract would be awarded by June 2017. And now we cannot even get a date from the Minister as to when the procurement process is to be completed, particularly following the, the decision to allow AIR to proceed with 300,000 households, which seems to have condemned the remaining 542,000 houses uh, to uh, an indefinite wait for broadband. broadband. Ronan Lupton of the Association of Telecommunications Operators kind of summed up the situation when he said the whole commercial viability of the national broadband plan is now in question. He said, we're in Angola, he said, with regards to rural broadband, and it looks like we're going to stay in Angola. Uh, and I would put it to you that the, the story around the decision uh, in relation to AIR, which is a commercial company, um, needs to be far more transparent, the decision around the government, the reason why the government made that particular decision. Does it fundamentally alter the procurement process, uh, given what companies were originally tendering for uh, and given the new situation? And does it mean, essentially, and if you look at the replies that the Minister gave in the Doyle, um, he's talking about the next phase of the plan uh, and so on. But the deadlines have been missed uh, and the uh, programme for government commitment is con has gone way out now compared to what was said. Uh, and I think, Tisha, we need full transparency on this. And why is the Minister not in a position to give a date in relation to the completion of the procurement process and the awarding of the contract in relation to the remaining 542,000 houses? Uh, because otherwise, rural Ireland is going to be condemned uh, to, Thank you, Deputy. Um, to in, in terms of infinity, in terms of provision of broadband, which will have dire consequences for retention of investment and for attracting future investment <coughs> in words into the future. Thank you, Deputy. Taoiseach. Thanks very much. The, the government very much believes in an economy that's based on equal opportunities, and that's the opportunity for every individual and every family to join uh, in economic recovery and to experience prosperity, and also for every region of the country uh, to fully join in. Uh, the economic recovery uh, and experience uh, uh, prosperity as well. And we are seeing, and it's evident in the statistics, economic growth in all parts of the country. Uh, with jobs growth in all parts of the country, unemployment falling in all regions. Uh, and that's uh, extremely important for lots of reasons. Uh, however, we need now to accelerate the recovery in rural areas and make sure that those areas uh, that haven't grown as fast as our big cities uh, are able to catch up. And crucial in enabling them to catch up is improvements in infrastructure, improvements in transport infrastructure, which is underway, to, to give the Gorta Tube motorway is just one example of a major project that's underway, and of course improvements in broadband, allowing uh, premises, businesses and homes to connect to high speed, the high-speed broadband network. At the moment, just over 50% of premises in Ireland have access to high-speed broadband. Uh, we estimate that by the end of 2018, uh, that can be up over, se uh, over 75 per cent, and by 2020, 2021, to have it between 90 and 100 per cent. Uh, AIR have committed to uh, providing high-speed broadband to another 300 premises, uh, and, they're, and uh, they're starting that quite shortly. And uh, in, a, in the larger intervention area, um, there are 550,000 premises ident identified for intervention under the National Broadband Plan. Uh, at the moment, uh, there's detailed discussions in and around the contracts. Uh, 
that will run until about September, and it's estimated at that point that the companies can uh, put in their final bids. It's a huge contract. We want to make sure we get it right. You'll be aware uh, in the past there have been difficulties and problems around tele telecommunications contracts and communications contracts having gone wrong, and it's very important that uh, we get this absolutely right. Uh, but the money is there to back it. Uh, the government is fully behind it, and we're absolutely, absolutely determined to minimise any delays uh, in providing uh, broadband uh, to all parts of the country. And indeed, at local authority level now, there are officers appointed as a single point of contact when it comes to broadband so that they can over overcome difficulties uh, that in the past or sometimes even now can be created by local authorities uh, in providing uh, access to, um, to the infrastructure needed uh, for broadband rollout. Thank you, Tishuk. Tishuk, you need to answer the questions that are asked. I mean, AIR is not the government, and you should stop trying to claim credit for what a commercial operator is doing. And they miss deadlines. You've missed deadline after deadline after deadline, and Minister Nocton has refused to give a date as to when the procurement um, uh, process will be complete and when the contract will be awarded. Uh, the government's own commitment in the programme for government has gone by uh, the wayside. Uh, you say that following the completion of the tender process, this isn't the programme for government, and the awarding of the contract targeted by June 2017. Uh, the new government will work with the winners to accelerate the rollout of the infrastructure next year. Sure, we're nowhere near that. And there's no transparency around it. I think Cliff Taylor, in a recent article, I think put it very well when he said, at this stage, even the National Children's Hospital uh, will be operational before the broadband plan is complete. It's scandalous the degree to which the needs of rural households and rural businesses uh, are being denied and dismissed uh, by this uh, shambolic approach to delivering on a national plan that was published uh, as far back um, as, as 2012. And at the, you're now looking at potentially 219, 220 Thank you, before we even get uh, the uh, commencement of this plan, if at all, because we don't know whether uh, those who bidded for the original process uh, are redoing their sums now as a result of the Time decision by the government to in relation to air, because that does change the ballpark, Tisha. And I would be interested in your thoughts in terms of if you bid for 900,000, 300,000 are taken out. Uh, no reason given as to why the, the, the change in the government's uh, approach to that Deputy, we're uh, way over does not the plan change fundamentally and alter fundamentally, and is it the case that the 542,000 houses are going to be waiting until infinity before anything happens? Taoiseach, to conclude, please. Uh, AIR is indeed um, a, a private firm, and as a private company, they've identified about 300,000 premises where they believe they can provide high-speed broadband and do so on a commercial basis at no cost to the taxpayer. And that's very welcome, because obviously we want to make sure that when we use taxpayers' money, that we use it where it's needed, not where uh, the private sector or where a commercial enterprise can do it for us without any recourse to the taxpayer. Uh, so that's underway. Uh, and that will allow another 300,000 premises across the country to be connected to high-speed broadband. Uh, and that's, that's really important and very welcome. When it comes to the other 540,000, that is going to require government intervention. We're determined to do that as quickly as we possibly can. But we do have to follow uh, proper procedures and proper procurement rules. It's an enormous contract. Uh, we hope there will be a number of bidders for it. Uh, and that it can be awarded as soon as possible. And I can definitely assure you that, as a government, uh, any delays uh, will be minimised, and we're absolutely committed to ensuring that every premises in Ireland has access to high-speed broadband so that they can take part uh, in the modern digital economy as they wish to.